Hello and welcome back to this Kubernetes talk series. So today in this series, we will be talking about the storage that is PV and PVC. So let's get started. So what is PVC? PVC stands for persistent volume. It is a storage resource in the Kubernetes cluster that is independent of, independent of any particular pod or a container. PVs can be provisioned dynamically, statically, or using cloud storage providers. Once it is created, a PV can be used by one or more pods. The type and capacity of storage as well as the access modes such as read-write ones, read-only many, read-write many are specified when creating the PV. Next, we have the PVC. PVC stands for Persistent Volume Claim. It is a request for storage resource by a pod. A PVC can request a specific capacity and access mode that match with those PVs. When a pod requests a PVC, Kubernetes tries to find a PV that matches the criteria of PVC. If a matching PV is found, it bounds the PV to the PVC and the pod can use it. PVC allows pods to request storage without having to know the underlying details of the storage implementation. The, this abstraction makes it easier to manage storage resources and make it possible to move pods between nodes or a cluster without losing access to their persistent data. So to be summarized, PV and PVCs provide a way to manage persistent storage in a Kubernetes. PVs represent the actual story, uh, storage resource, while PVCs are used by pods to request storage resources. Kubernetes automatically manage the life cycles of PVs and dynam dynamically creates new ones as it is based on the criteria specified in a PVC. So that's it for this video. In the next video, we will be seeing how to create a PVs and how to create a PVC. Thank you.